I think we're live. <laughs> Yay! Comment if you can see me and you can hear me. It says that we're telling your followers that you've started a live video. So here I am. And hi, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks for the heart. Oh, I can wave. There, I waved at you. <laughs> I'm Donna Mulholland and I'm doing a live Instagram this morning about starting a painting and this is the canvas I'm going to be working on and I haven't done a face uh, sorry not Facebook live Instagram live for ages I don't think since the end of last summer I'm not really sure why I think it's because it's tricky my studio is in the basement of my home and it's tricky to get the lighting right so, um, but I'm giving it a go this morning anyway. So, hello to everyone that's here. Hi, Brenda, Melinda, Marianne, Kathleen. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. I'll use some yellow for you. Um, so, I'm just going to wait a few minutes while um, a few more people log on. And I'm going to try to save this at the end. I did a little preview. Um, or a heads up story earlier just to check my um, camera placement and lighting and um, I did learn a few things I had my camera the other way so I got a nice wider view um, but you'd have to turn your phone or iPad around to watch it so I flipped my phone portrait wise and also I thought I saved it but it seems to have disappeared so hopefully at the end I'll be able to save this for those who can't see it real time. Not all of us have the luxury of uh, painting in the morning, or at least it's morning where I am. And um, although I did have a, a message from someone who said they were going to sneak and watch it at work, so I have a lot of respect for that person. <laughs> Shh, I won't tell. So I think I'm just about ready to begin. And I'm not going to be answering probably a lot of comments um, while I'm doing it. I think I want to try to do it how I actually do it. And I'm, uh, I'm not a group painter. I actually do my best painting, painting by myself here, uh, so that I can really get into it. It's a different thing to teach and paint and teach and talk and talk and paint. All those things are different from um, my normal painting process but I thought I'd start out with a few things um, just I wanted to show you my paint and I just use like a dollar store plastic dish and I use them over and over I think these are from like a class I gave in about 2015 um, very old sometimes I gesso them over uh, sometimes I don't sometimes I peel the paint skins off and use them sometimes I don't and this is about my basic palette starting to run a bit uh, I tend to use uh, Indian yellow, phthalo blue, this is a different blue, I forget what it is, uh, another phthalo turquoise, I think this is a Quinn magenta and gesso. So that's my basic palette. I tend to work with a very limited palette um, and there are pros and cons to that. I like the cohesive look that it gives a painting, but at the same time, um, it's fun to introduce some new colors um, every once in a while. And I also wanted to show you the kind of paint that I use. My favorite is uh, Nova Color, and it comes from California. It's not expensive in itself. It's expensive importing it. Um, there's fees and stuff that aren't that much fun, but it's still worth it. I also really like Golden. and. I've been trying this Canadian brand, which I think comes from Vancouver Island, at least somewhere in BC, Chroma, Chroma Artist Acrylics, and I really like um, it as well. So I'm just about ready to start. I'll just look at the comments for a second first. Hello, hello, everyone that's here. I'll wave at a few people, just because I didn't know you could do that. But now I'm just about ready to go. And what I have, I have a 20 by 20 canvas. I like to work on canvas or paper. I've been working more and more on paper recently. Um, it's fun. It feels um, very freeing because it doesn't feel as permanent as canvas. 
So when I start, um, I like to get my mindset in a particular mood. Like today I like to be in a happy mood. Um, and I usually do that by listening to music or reading things that are positive or looking at old paintings um, that have a certain mood that I'm looking for. Sometimes I have an intention. If I'm working in series, I might have a little bit more of an intention or an idea of what I'm going for. Um, but today I'm not looking at this piece um, as starting a series. I don't have any particular intention with it except um, to be curious and to see what happens. So also I like to use flat brushes. Somebody asked me what size brushes I used last night and I actually don't know because look at all the paint. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones actually. I got this at Jerry's Artorama in Raleigh, North Carolina in 2015. It's still my favorite brush. But I also use um, other kinds of flat brushes. Sometimes I use bigger ones. But I think these are my favorites today. So let's go. I'll check in maybe in about 10 minutes and um, see if you have any comments and questions. Um, but I'm just going to go for it and try to show you how I actually do paint. I would have music on, except that it's my experience that um, music doesn't translate very well over Instagram Live or on video. It can be quite annoying, so I'm not going to play that today. But I'll tell you who I was listening to before I started. Uh, and there's a video on YouTube, and it's Peter Bentz, who is a pianist, and he does a really great version of uh, Despacito. Anyway, if you're in a, a low mood, that will perk you up pretty quick. So here we go. I like to mix my colors both on my palette and on the canvas. Oh, oh I don't want my head in there. And um, I'm usually kind of a flowy painter. I like to cover with my first layer. I like to just cover the canvas. A lot of that might be covered up as I in later layers. Um, and I tend to kind of like to have um, kind of large areas of color or color that blends into another. But I've been trying this year to try to have more work on having more marks. I'm, I'm not a real, um, what do you call it, mark maker. I really admire people who are, but I am trying to get more shapes into my work, so we'll see if I can pull that off today. It's really the painting that tells me what to do. I also like to paint my edges as I go along, and sorry if my head kind of gets in the way here. I like the um, I like to have my painting wrap around the sides. I really like that look. I find um, I don't mind a white border, white edges, but I find kind of black edges kind of disconcerting but it's all a matter of taste. 
and what's really important is um, there is no right way there is no wrong way there's just trying things and then learning what you like that's what's most important So what I'm going for at this point is just to get, really just to cover the canvas. Um, for this piece I don't have a real intention, as I said before. Um, I'm just trying to cover the canvas and in areas of color I'm trying to introduce some variation. So how I do that is if I'm using a blue, like this uh, turquoise phthalo turquoise right out of the jar, um, I'll probably add in a little white or a little yellow or a little bit of the darker phthalo blue or a little bit of the quin magenta where it starts to turn to purple. So I think um, we should always be, whoops, I shouldn't say should, <laughs> sorry. Um, I try to make sure there's a lot of variation in my color, in my painting. So if there's a lot of blue, I don't use uh, tube blue or jar blue, I use it, but I also add other colors to it. Um, and make it different values, light and dark. So the thrill for me is all, it's all about uh, the freedom and the color and listening to my intuition and being curious. That's what it's all about for me. I love paint. I love how it moves. I love color. I love texture. I like pattern. I like shape. That's what moves me. For example, um, I have never been moved in my life by a charcoal drawing. don't like black and white. I don't like realism. I'm always looking to create something. Um, it's hard to put into words, but something that hasn't existed before. So I think that's typical of most true creatives.
At this stage, um, I'm not worried so much about getting values in. I'm mostly just getting color to cover the canvas. And hi to the new fo followers. Hi, Joanne. You see, uh, thanks for the remark about colors. Anyway, I'm almost finished, really. Sometimes what I would do at this point is just stand back about 10 feet and have a look at it and see what I think it needs. Again, this is not a finished painting. This is the first layer of a painting, which is the most fun and the most free. that much let's see
that's about it for a first layer. So I've worked mostly with darks. I've got a few shapes in here, but I haven't gotten uh, too picky or too, um, too anal. I want to keep qu quite free at this point. Um, I kind of like it. What do you think? Thanks, Marianne. Thanks, Zaina. Thanks for the hearts. So I think that's it for this morning's live session. Um, I'll make sure to show where I go next with this painting. Um, thank you so much for um, joining me this morning and I'm going to try to save it. I think I remember how to do this so that um, people who can watch it later and maybe I'll even put it on YouTube. And so thanks again and have a creative day and I really appreciate you watching this morning. Thank you.